Today, we're gonna to be comparing two hydroponic microgreen mats. One is hemp and the other is bamboo. So stay tuned for the video. All right guys, today what we're gonna be doing is growing with two hydroponic mediums, one of which is veg bed and the other is hemp. Now these are two of the stronger hydroponic grow mediums that we have used. And actually in the past, the veg bed was something that we tested before, but their first prototype of their product, or I guess their first product launch, was actually too densely woven in our opinions and the radicals were never able to drive themselves through it and get rooted properly. So it was a medium that we kind of steered clear of and we have since got the updated product which is woven less densely. So I'm excited to try this out and we're gonna be comparing it against hemp which is another stronger hydroponic growing medium. Now hemp is something that is renewable and it's super awesome and I really enjoy it. And in fact, by the time you finish up a grow, it is basically composting already. So it's something that you don't wanna do long grows with because it does break down quickly. So what I'm gonna be doing today is we're gonna do two trays of each and we're just gonna kinda of take a look at the growth. We're gonna do this a little bit more relaxed than we usually do. So I'm excited to do this. What I'm gonna be seeding it with is some purple kohlrabi and this is from True Leaf Market. And I really like this crop just because it's so dang beautiful and it is one of the more popular crops because it is so dang beautiful. So let me get out my seeding tools and I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, before I start seeding, what I like to do is I like to take my little uh, handy dandy pump here. This is a two gallon pump sprayer and what I'm gonna do is lightly mist these grow mediums. And the reason I'm doing this is it helps the seeds stick because as soon as I go to seed them, if I do not mist them, they're just gonna bounce all over the place and they're not gonna land where I want them to land. So I kind of did those two and I'll have to get this other hemp one under here in just a second. So again, this is just kind of getting it damp. We're not really trying to wet it to grow the product yet. We're just getting this to make the seed stick. All right, so I got my handy dandy little scooper here and my purple kohlrabi and my scale and my cup, everything's all set up. What I'm going to do is try to get about 15 grams per uh, tray. So let's try to ease our way up to 15 here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seed these by hand because I feel like I do it better by hand. So I'm using this back and forth shaky shake technique. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get these seeds as even as possible on this growing medium. It's kind of cool. You can see the uh, little grooves caused by the tray underneath. It's kind of creating little rows for us. We've got like little actual crop rows going on now. Okay, 15 grams. Bam, there we go. So it's not perfect, doesn't have to be, just try to spread out as even as you can. I'm gonna go ahead and seed these other three trays and I'll see you guys in just a second. Bam. Okay, so now all four of my trays are seeded. What I need to do now is I need to get all of these watered nicely. So again, using the same handy dandy little two gallon pump sprayer, we're just gonna back and forth see all of these trays and make sure they are nice and wet. We don't wanna go too wet, especially with hemp because it can retain a ton of water and actually the veg bed can as well. So both of these mediums are something you need to be careful of. Now the veg bed is actually made out of bamboo, so it is sustainable as well. But my concern is I don't know how compostable it is. That's something in the past that, um, that's why we moved away from a grow medium called BioStrate because it also was made from plants, but it wasn't nearly as compostable as they claimed it to be. In fact, you had to take it to an industrial facility to be broken down. And I feel like that's the case with this veg bed as well, but we will have to try and see if we can com compost it. Bang, okay, so everything is watered and already at first glance, I see that I'm gonna have a slight issue here with this veg bed because it's actually bigger than my 1020 tray. And whenever it's bigger than a 1020 tray, what happens is whenever I go to stack these, this is actually gonna create a gap. I'm not gonna be able to put pressure down on these seeds like I like to. So that's gonna be a slight issue here, but I guess we're just gonna to have to kind of deal with it and I'll push this down as best as I can. And uh, that's actually something that sometimes happens with hemp too, if you don't cut it correctly. It sometimes does it on the sides, but definitely a length. All right, so what I'm doing is I am randomizing my stocking order. So we're gonna go veg bed bottom, hemp, and we're gonna do veg bed and then hemp. And then we're gonna top it off with a regular black tray here. Press it down nicely. I'm gonna grab me two bricks, which is 14 pounds, which is pretty close to the 15 that I like to seed it with. Place those bad boys on top. 
and I'm gonna get this on my dark shelf back there to germinate. I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll take a look at all this growth and see how it's looking. All right guys, we're on day two of this veg bed versus hemp. So let's get these weights removed and let's take a peek at our growth here. I'm just gonna kind of tap this. Okay, so the hemp is looking really good. We're starting to get germination on it and the medium still looks nice and moist. Let's take a look at the veg bed. Same thing, so the veg bed still looks nice and moist and we're getting some good germination on it. The second hemp tray is looking good. So the germination doesn't seem to be as good as the veg bed at this point. And let's check the second veg bed. Yeah, so the veg bed is actually germinating, it looks like substantially faster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of reverse this. I'm gonna give these guys a nice light mist because all these still look nice and damp really. All right, that is it for today. I'm gonna get these weights put back on top, put it back on the shelf and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, we are on day three of this grow, so let me get these bricks removed so we can take a peek at the growth here. So this hemp is looking really quite nice. The medium seems like it's still a little bit damp, which is nice to see, it means it's retaining that water well, and all the germination looks pretty strong. Let's take a look at the first veg bed. First veg, veg bed is looking really strong. We have a lot of great germination here. And I would say it's actually Probably a head if not tied with the hemp. And then the second hemp one's looking pretty good. And then the last veg bed's looking pretty solid. Though we do have a ton of stickers up here on the veg bed one. So I'm gonna kind of spray these guys a little bit and hopefully they'll fall back in and get rooted into the veg bed. So it seems like the hemp aren't sticking to the top as much as the veg bed are, but everything is germinating nicely. Let me get the weight put up back on top, put this back on the shelf, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, we are on day four of this hemp versus veg bed, so I'm gonna get these bricks removed as usual, and let's hope that these guys are going into blackout. So the hemp appears to be ready for blackout, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the others here. The veg bed is close enough. I think that that can go into blackout. Hemp is ready, and the last. Veg bed is looking pretty good also. So there's a little bit of stickers, but uh, overall I think all of these are ready for blackout. So what I'm going to do is grab me a little towel. I'm gonna grab my first tray here. I'm gonna kind of wipe off anything on the bottom like this and knock this into the compost. I'll see you guys in just a second once I've cleaned all these trays and I've got them all ready for blackout. Okay, so I cleaned all the bottom of the trays and I've set all these side by side. So let's take a quick look here and look at this grow. So the veg bed has germinated pretty strong. I will say though that I'm a little concerned about some of these radicals not being driven down into the medium. And since we're using these slotted trays, so we are getting through the medium. That is a good sign that we're seeing the roots peeking out here. Let's take a look at the hemp. And same thing, so the roots are getting through on these trays. I will say though, at first glance, the hemp seems to be standing up better on both of the trays compared to the veg bed, uh, which seems to not be standing up as straight, though it does look like the germination is pretty similar. I will say also that the hemp looks like it has shed more of the seed holes off compared to the veg bed. So that's it for a first quick glance at all of these before they go into blackout. What I'm going to do now is water all four of these trays. Now I'm gonna take the trays and I'm actually going to reverse them and place them on top to allow these guys to stretch a little bit before they go into the light. The reason that we do this is so that we can make it easier on ourselves for a harvest and just get a little bit more stem out of these products, otherwise they stay fairly short. So now these are all into blackout. I'm gonna put these on a shelf and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, we are on day five for this hemp versus veg bed and all these are looking really, really solid. So let's go ahead and take a close look at these before we introduce them into the light. So the first veg bed one is looking super solid. We've removed, I would say 95% of the seed holes. We've only got a few little ones kind of clinging on, but for the majority of this crop, they are all standing up nicely and have driven themselves down into the medium very well. The hemp is, I would say, looking a lot stronger. I'm noticing it's a bit more uniform in its growth. Like I'm noticing rows on this uh, veg bed one and that could have been the medium itself, but the hemp seems to be a lot more consistent in its growth and height. So overall, I would say that the hemp right now does have a slight advantage over the veg bed. So I'm just noticing the same thing between these two. The veg bed is just slightly behind uh, compared to the hemp, but both of these are standing up quite nicely. Uh, though I would say that the uh, hemp is standing up a little bit more than the veg bed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get these placed on a shelf. Now I'm gonna be putting these underneath our Barina T5 lights that we kind of suggest to everybody when getting started out because these are cheap and they do a great job uh, with growing some microgreens. All right, since these are going into the light, what we're gonna be doing is also begin bottom watering them. 
What we mean by bottom watering is we lift up this tray where the medium is on and we're gonna pour some water into the tray underneath. And these little holes that this tray has is gonna allow this water to pass through and get soaked up into the medium and onto the roots as well. So this is how we are going to begin growing these. I'm gonna get all these bottom watered and these are now into the light. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another update. All right, we are on day six of this hemp versus veg bed. And as you guys can see, all of these crops are greening up quite nicely and beginning to stand up. Now, quick first glance, I can see that the hemp is actually a little bit taller than the veg bed here. And that's what we noticed yesterday is that the hemp was just slightly ahead of the veg bed. But overall, all of these are growing quite well. So to keep this video from getting too long, what I will do is I will see you guys on harvest day once these have grown out quite a bit. So I'll see you guys in about three or four days. All right, guys, we're on day 12 of this hemp versus bamboo hydroponic grow mat trial. And today is going to be harvest day because these crops are so freaking tall that they're actually beginning to fall over. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at all of the growth and let's see how these are doing. So these two trays right here are hemp trays. And like I said, these have just gotten so tall that they're actually beginning to kind of fall over. So I should have probably harvested this yesterday, but it was looking so solid that I thought I was gonna let it go one more day and try to get a little bit more true leaf. And we just kind of reached that critical tipping point where they begin to fall over. As for the uh, second hemp tray here, again, it's looking very, very even. It's not falling over nearly as much as this first tray is and the growth on it is super solid. I'm very happy with the cotyledon size, coloration, and overall uniformity of the growth. On to the first of the bamboo mats. This growth, again, looks very solid. I'm really happy with the cotyledon size and structure. The growth seems to be very uniform. It does taper off a little bit on the front, but overall, it has given us a pretty solid grow here. And the same thing, I'm kind of seeing it with the uh, second bamboo tray. It's a little bit more sporadic in its growth, but still overall, I think it's done a pretty dang great job. So that's it for a quick first glance at all of these. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to harvest all of these trays. And we'll discuss the uh, harvest weight as well as taking a closer look at the appearance of each one of these crops. So I'll see you guys in just a moment once I've harvested all four of these trays. Okay, I've finished harvesting all four of the trays. Now let's discuss the harvest weights, starting with the hemp side. So with our hemp, we had one tray that had 226 grams and the other one that had 165 grams. As for the bamboo, one of them had 224 grams and the other had 205 grams. Now let's go ahead and talk about the appearance. This group over here is the hemp and this is the uh, bamboo mats on this side. Overall, at first glance, both of them seem very, very similar in their appearance and I am very happy with the growth on both of these. Uh, the cotyledon size does seem to be nice on both of them, and the stem colorations are both very uh, similar, and they're a light purple that goes up into the green cotyledon, and overall, like I said, I think that the growth is very similar. What I am noticing is a lot of uh, short growth in both of these, so I believe we should drop our seeding density a little bit. That way there's not as much undergrowth, and we just have the nice big thick cotyledons that are up in the actual canopy. So overall winner for appearance, I'm not gonna say that there actually was a winner here. I think they're both very similar. Though I do think the uh, cotyledons are slightly smaller on the um, bamboo side than they are on the hemp side. So, so far we have the winner in weight being the bamboo trays, winner in appearance. I'd say they're both pretty similar. I don't see any big differences here between these two mediums. And the last thing is going to be a taste test. Now I'm just gonna quickly taste test both of these and try to figure out if there's any differences between the two. And I'm not gonna do it blind because it just takes way too long. So give me one second and I'll see you after I've tasted both of these. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, I finished tasting both of these groups and I will say that both had a very, very nice brassica flavor. Uh, I felt like the hemp did have a slightly stronger flavor than the bamboo group did. And overall for crunch, the hemp actually had a much more crunchy uh, bite to it versus the bamboo, which felt a little bit softer, didn't have as much of that um, crispness to it. So winner and overall taste. I'm gonna have to go with the hemp because it did give us a nice crunch and I felt like the brassica flavor was slightly stronger than that of the bamboo group. So let's go ahead and recap all these so far. So the winner and overall harvest weight was the bamboo group. It beat us with uh, the one tray that had 204 grams compared to the one tray on the hemp that had the 165. That really created the division here and that's how the bamboo pulled out ahead. Um, as for appearance, they both look very similar. I don't think that there is a winner in appearance. I think that they both look very uh, similar to one another. 
As for flavor, both again tasted very similar, though I do felt like the hemp had a slightly stronger flavor and a little bit more crisp crispness to it. All right, so that is the results for both of these groups. And again, I try to remain as unbiased as I possibly can because I'm just trying to show you guys what results that we're getting with these mediums using microgreens. That way you guys have a better idea of what these products are like before you have to go out and actually spend the money on them. So one thing I do wanna talk about is the cost for each one of these. With the hemp, each one of these sheets cost us uh, $1.27. Uh, for a 1020 tray and for the bamboo it was actually one dollar and fifty cent uh, per uh, 1020 tray so there is a 23 cent higher cost to the bamboo sheets than there is to the hemp i did buy both of these in bulk so these were bought in 100 sheets and this was a roll of 120 feet so i think if you guys uh, buy it in lower quantities like 10 sheets at a time or something i think the price is like 180 per sheet for this and probably about 150 for the hemp. All right, so that is it. I am curious to see what you guys think. If you guys have tried out these mediums, please let us know your guys' results and what you guys have experienced with them and maybe any tips and tricks that you found with these mediums. Oh, there's one more thing I do wanna talk about is the compostability of these mediums. So something that I do know about hemp is that it does break down pretty quick and I know that it tears apart really quite easy and as you can see, it's actually quite easy to break apart and I think that it'll compost very fast. In fact, you can see a lot of these spots where it looks like it's already begun breaking down. And that's something that we just have to be cautious of with hemp and why we don't like using it for more than like 13, 14 days, because it will start to kind of break down towards that uh, time period. As for this bamboo, now this is, again, like I said, a new uh, formulation from VegBed, but it's almost like a cotton t-shirt. So I don't know how well this will, I mean, I'm kind of pulling on it and it does have a lot of grab to it so i don't know how quickly uh, this will break down or if it will even break down in our home compost at all so that is one thing to be kind of cautious of and that's actually why in the past we moved away from a medium called biostraight because it claimed to be compostable and all this but it turns out it's only compostable in certified uh, industrial facilities so we have to take it to a special facility to be composted versus being able to use our own back uh, yard compost like we can with the hemp so that's why we steered clear of it but I did like the growth that BioStraight gave us and I do like the growth that these bamboo mats are giving us. It just is a concern about the possibility of having to take this to an industrial facility to be broken down because there's not really a whole lot of those throughout the world and it's a little extreme to have to do that. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give us a thumbs down. If you, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We'd love to get those answered for you as soon as we possibly can. Our Instagram and our Facebook are both at OnTheGrow Farms, and our website is www.onthegrow.net, where we have lots of great information, blogs, and actually have some new merch. This isn't our new merch. Be sure to go there to find our new mer merch. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you so much, and keep on believing.